All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Um, I hope you all are, are having a good uh, Friday. But um, I just wanted to touch on a couple of things. Uh, first thing I want to touch on is the um, everybody's talking about um, Steve Harvey's daughter, um, Lori Harvey. And all I want to say uh, uh, about that is um, good for her. She's 23 years old. She want to pass her box around, you know, to various people. When that shit start itching and she got some discomfort, then maybe she'll start thinking about all the people that she like let run through her box because at the end of the day ladies um your pussy is precious okay um that's all i have to say your pussy is precious you can't just be handing out your pussy like it's fucking tic tacs and if you do decide to hand your pussy out like it's tic tacs then that's your choice but just know when you find the motherfucker that you really want to be with, okay? When you find that one man or woman, uh, depending on which, you know, end you like to float on, but at the end of the day, when you find that individual that you really feel that you have a connection with, um, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally, because you got to stimulate the brain, you just can't stimulate your vaginas or your dicks, okay? Okay? I wish, you know, we in 2020, y'all got to get this shit together for real. Passing out your pussy is not, it, it, is not the thing to do, okay? You fuck the wrong motherfucker. You fuck the wrong individual. You coming up with syphilis, you coming up with herpes, and you coming up with HIV or AIDS, okay? Even though we do have treatment for those people that are suffering from these diseases, but AIDS and herpes, you cannot get rid of, period. So, talking about Lori Harvey, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but at the end of the fucking day, all I just want to say is, ladies, cherish your vagina, okay? When you lay down with a man or a woman, depending on which side of the fence you choose to be on, when you decide to make that energy exchange, that energy exchange is very powerful, okay? You let a dude bust up in your shit, Okay, his DNA is in your body, period, okay? So at the end of the day, ladies, please cherish your box. Please cherish your box and stop passing it out like it's Tic Tacs because that's not the shit to do. Because as I was saying, when you find that individual that wants to be with you, that you feel that you have a connection with, guess what that individual is going to do? That individual is going to say, er, nope, er, nope. You gave your shit to this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Don't no man want no stretched out pussy, okay? Men like tight pussies, okay? You let this one run in this one, this one run in that one, this one run in that one, this one run in that one. At the end of the day, your pussy ain't gonna have no walls, ladies. There ain't that much snap back in the fucking world unless you paying somebody to fix your pussy. And if you gotta do that, it's too many motherfucking miles, okay? And at 23... From what I'm seeing, um, from what social media is displaying on this young lady, I feel sorry for her. I really do. Because she doesn't know her self-worth. Period. And if she knew her self-worth, she wouldn't have fucked Puffy. She wouldn't have fucked Puffy's son. She wouldn't fuck Future. She gonna be baby number nine. And I think when they was all chilling, you know, and uh, I think they were in, in the Caribbean or they were in Miami or wherever they were, it was Future, Diddy, DJ Khaled, they was all on jet skis. I'm telling you right now, they got a bet going on. For real. They got a bet going on. And she gonna be baby number nine. I think they put up some meals for that shit. On some real shit. For real. I'm not judging anyone. Okay? But all I'm saying is have some self-worth. Have some self-worth to know that when you lay down with a man or a woman, if you are in that realm, okay? If you lay down with a man and a man or a man and a woman... Okay, know your self fucking worth. Stop passing your shit out like it's fucking Tic Tacs. This shit is fucking crazy. And then you guys got the audacity to turn around and call these women queens. These women are not queens. Queens don't pass their pussy out. Okay, they letting one king smash that shit. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, 
people, please. Oh my God, I'm so tired of hearing about this girl and future or whatever. Future gonna smash her. She gonna be baby number nine. He gonna move on to baby mama number 10, okay? So at the end of the day, you know, 23, you know, everybody got a little hoe in them. We all know that. But sometimes that whole shit will get you caught the fuck up with babies that you don't want, that you can't afford, and then constantly putting this man on child support. Like I said, right now, babies aren't about love and endurance and and uh, continuing to um, keep your legacy going and continue your family. Now, bitches is having babies for fucking checks. This shit is crazy, yo. I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I, re I really don't. I wish these... I don't know if it's these new millenniums or what have you. I, I don't know. But the shit y'all doing right now is just fucking disgusting to me as a woman and as a queen. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And we're not going to even get on April Jones. We're not going to get on that either. I just need to do my own fucking TV show or reality show so I could speak on these topics because this shit is just disgusting to me. And to be a young lady that has um, a young girl, um, you know, like I said, I told people straight up, I'm gonna tell my daughter that Kardashian is a fucking venereal disease. I don't ever want my child to know what a Kardashian is. Ever. Ever. It's not the right perception to send to women to young girls all these young girls are looking at these women on social media and they're starting to say hmm maybe i need to do that to become popular hmm maybe i can do that so i can get a check hmm maybe i can have a baby from a rapper so i can get a check this shit is fucking bonkers yo get your own checks and get your own money and stop pushing out babies for checks this shit is fucking absurd, yo. It's absurd to me. But bless up. Peace up. Um, definitely gonna sage myself today because it's, it's some crazy energy going on. But I'm just tired of social media talking about these people and who they sleeping with and all this shit. It's just, to me, it's just fucking bonkers. You gonna pass yourself around. You gonna lay on your back. Trust and believe you gonna always be on your back. I don't care if your daddy is Steve Harvey. Okay. At the end of the day, it don't fucking matter who your dad is. At the end of the day, it's the reputation that you are creating for yourself. And just, she going to be the new Evelyn Lazada of the hip hop fucking genre. This is fucking ridiculous. Get it together, ladies. Prize your pussy and stop handing it out. Bless up.